Hey you guys, welcome to my Back to Basics Series 101. And today, you might notice something a little bit different about me, but I am not wearing any eyebrows. So today, we're gonna start off with eyebrows. Now, this video is a little bit nervous to do just because I love eyebrows so much that I thought I was gonna completely, something just fell, hmm. Uh, I thought I was gonna completely like freak out, but I'm gonna try and stay calm. And uh, if my fan goes off, that's because I'm having a hot flash. So let's get right into this video with my favorite brow products. I'm gonna give you drugstore and then I'm gonna give you higher end and you guys, whatever your price point is, you can work with it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do is just talk about getting the brows prepped before you do anything. So I usually do a full face of makeup first and my brows go on last. As you can see, I've done my full face. Now, if you want, you can do it the opposite way and then your brows should be easier to prep. But the key is if, they're, if they have any moisturizer on them or any makeup throughout the day, like you're touching up your brow, they're gonna be kind of oily and the brow product is not going, going to stick. So I recommend a few things to prep the brows before you do them. So the first would be just start your brows on a completely clean face. Like do your brows and avoid any moisturizer on your actual brows because a brow product like this is just gonna slip right off if there's any oil there. So that's useless. That's my first tip. My second tip is you can always use, like I keep a bottle of alcohol with me on my vanity at all times and have for years. You can go ahead and spray a little bit on a tissue and wipe off any excess oil before you start. That will totally get them dry and pre prepped for your eyebrow product. Or a third thing that you can do, and a lot of people do that, just take a beauty blender, um, put some powder on it, and go ahead and pat those off with some setting powder, and that will prep them also. So now you are ready to go. So my favorite, favorite, favorite thing is to make this sparse brow Drew Barrymore who like made me tweeze my brows and Gwen Stefani in the 90s, you guys, they never grew back. I've actually been growing my brows out for one year and I've been using some products. So if you wanna hear about it, go ahead and put a comment below to help my eyebrows grow back in. I cannot wait for them to grow back in. Um, I really want them to look like bushy and full because that's really youthful and it frames your face and it actually makes your face. Like think Brooke Shills, remember those crazy brows from the 80s, they were just so beautiful. Like one went up and one went the other way. And there is one thing that I wanna to talk to you about. Like try to accept the brows that you have. Like work with them, don't fight. If they're pushing that way, don't try and push them that way. Just like work with what you have and just like make the shape, the natural shape of your brows into something beautiful, like a signature just for you. Okay, now we're gonna actually get on with the products. So I'm gonna be using a few different products. I tend to use brow gels and brow pencils. Now you can go ahead and use brow powders if you want or pomades and those all work, but for me, I like a pencil. So my most favorite pencil in the whole world is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is just, there's nothing really that can compare to it for me and I use it in number three. But if you guys want inexpensive, there are so many, like Jordana does one and it's got a really, really tight, um, small point too. And these are like four bucks at the drugstore. Um, CoverGirl does a really good one. And do I have any of those to show you? CoverGirl, oh no, this is, who is this by? Oh, this is by Kat Von D. Ooh! So I have high-end ones and lower-end ones. My brow gel that I'm gonna be using today is Milk Makeup, um, and it is called Kush Fiber Gel. This is what's gonna make your eyebrows look like they have more hair, more bushy. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, but Elf, Elf does one. Elf's point is fatter, so I don't really like that. I really like a thin little point because then I can really get in there and draw. And then my most favorite is my Wet and Wild Micro Pencil for low end drugstore. The point is just as intense as Precisely My Brow and these are like $3 and change, so there you go, pick your poison. Okay, let's talk about a spoolie and the importance of a spoolie. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do after you've prepped your brows so they're not oily, they don't have any residue, they're nice and dry, and they're ready to pick up some, pow um, some product, is go ahead and fluff them up. And I have to take a break because, hot flash. Okay, here I have a fan, hold on. 
Hot flash break, you guys. This fan, it's like a lifesaver. This is on my Amazon store, Sung by Samantha. Many of my products that I use are on my Amazon store, Sung by Samantha. Just search it, I'll put it in the bottom bar. It's everywhere, over my Instagram page, you can find it. <laughs> but yeah, the hot flashes have been going for a year and a half now, and they are legit. Okay, let's keep going. If you hear that, that's a fan, but I just need it because I can't get through this video. I'm having hot flashes throughout the whole thing. Um, a runner up is the CoverGirl. Um, what is it called? CoverGirl Soft Blonde Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I freaking love this one too. You can look at the tip. So these are all less expensive versions, but if you're, if you're like Sephora and you like spending the money and you're a benefit girl, then you know you're gonna get the Precise in My Brow because it's my favorite. Okay, my second tip before I even start, my eyes watering, is you guys, start with a color that's lighter than your brow. If you go really dark, you're just gonna look crazy. It's gonna be like super dark and you're gonna hate it. So I would recommend going one shade, two shades lighter than you are. So even though my brows are quite dark, I like to go with a soft brown or even a blonde some blondes, the drugstore can come out with a gray cast, so you might want to like start with soft brown first before you go to blonde until you've actually tried them. Taupe works though. This is a, this Jordana one is actually in taupe. Let me show you if I can swatch it in my hand on my hand, and so you can see what that color looks like. All right, you guys, let's get into how I like to style my brows. I'm going to oop my camera. I'm going to go ahead and start with precisely my brow pencil because. Let's face it, it's my favorite. I'm gonna try to get as close as I can without, I noticed that on my old video of like liquid lipstick, I kind of put the mirror in front. So fluff them up. And I learned this, you guys, at Hourglass at Sephora to actually like brush against the grain of your brow. It's so crazy, but it actually really makes your brows like stick up a little bit more. And we'll talk about that. A little bit more so again like my brows have been growing out for two years and you can see them growing out in here if you look really closely and I literally just tweeze here I want them to all grow back in all right so what I do is I don't get too much of the product out I don't roll it up too high about that much and then I like to measure my eyebrow from even more than the center of the eye over, but you can, you guys can like experiment and see what looks best on you. I like to bring it all the way in because that's my preference. So I actually start like drawing a line down, like lines down, because I feel like it's easier than drawing lines up. And you might want to balance your hand, a finger on your face so you can balance a little bit. So I start with just like, carving out the real like basic shape. Let me show you on this side. Hope I, I hope you all can see. So like I said, I draw the lines down. Then I'm gonna come in and fill and then I draw them up. So I kind of go down and up and down and up because I'm trying to get, but already you can see there's a big difference. I had no hair in the center. Now there, that is a look to start your brows a little bit closer to where your eye starts, but everybody's shape of their face is different, so do what you think you look the best in. Okay, now I'm gonna come down here, and again with this light, Pencil three and precisely my brow, much lighter than my actually brow color or my dark brown hair. I really like it because I can go a little bit more intense on it and it's not gonna look too bad, too insane. Now right in here, I've lost all my brows from tweezing. So I'm gonna go ahead and line underneath that area and fill that in and also here. You might even have a scar and if you have a scar and you can't go over it, just leave it. That's part of who you are. I mean. Make these special parts of your body or face that you don't like into something that you do like, like something really special and beautiful. That is the real like goal in life, to like love ourselves for our differences and not wanna be the same as everybody else. Okay, now I'm gonna grow, I'm sorry, I'm gonna fill up the top of that arch. It's a little sparse and then drag
that color into the tail. Do you see that? And then you want to look straight on. And like I said, brows are related, but they're not twins. So if one brow goes this way and the other brow goes that way, just work with it. Like embrace the shape of your brows. You're just adding to them. They're already beautiful. You're just giving them a little extra, right? And I'll go ahead and draw the tail over here. Now brows can be so intimidating. People get so nervous about them, and rightly so, you know? I mean, it can be hard to do this, but the thing is, get a good magnifying mirror. If you're over 50, it's extra hard. Like, I wear contacts, but I also have to put readers on top of my contacts, which I'm not wearing now, so it's very difficult sometimes. Sometimes I have to wear no glasses at all so I can see close up. Um, but get a good magnifying glass. Like, if you can, go and pick one up, like, a. a at least 10 or 20 uh, magnifying glass. And when you actually see what's really going on, you will be shocked, especially if you're over 50, because the vision, I think I got my mom, we got her like a, is it 20 times magnifying? She like freaked out, she was like, oh my God, I had no idea. But she's so beautiful, it didn't even matter. She looked gorgeous up close, but you know, it's shocking if you haven't seen in a while, because your vision is bad. All right, so I have the main shape of my eyebrows. I'm very happy with this. So what I'm gonna do now is go in with the spoolie and just kind of wipe it up a little bit. There we go. And it's just kind of pushing the product all the way through. And some people like it a little bit lighter right here to give it kind of an ombre effect that's definitely popular. But um, I think we just kind of want a thicker brow we don't have to get crazy or fashionable or trendy with it. Okay, now that you have done that comes the brow gel. Like I told you, this is by Kush, this is by Milk Makeup, but I know at Walgreens, this one's from Circa. They have so many different brow gels. I'm sure you can get them at L'Oreal. Even Wet n Wild does one. Just do a light, light color. When you're doing a brow gel, do like taupe, soft brown, especially if you have brown brows like me or dark brown hair like me, because if not, it's gonna be really, really black. So if you have like dark, dark brown hair or really black hair, then you can go with the darker. But my recommendation to you is start light and then if it's too light, you can always go darker, right? Okay, now this is what I learned at Hourglass at Sephora. You guys, I like freaked out when they did the unrestricted brow with me. I like, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna take the brow product and I'm gonna make sure I get most of it off. You do not want a lot, just like mascara. And I'm gonna actually go against the grain I know, it's so insane, right? Like against the grain. And I'm pushing, even on the tail. And what this is gonna make me, what it's gonna do to my brows is appear that they are bushy and Brooke Shilsey and young, because young people have hair, a lot of it. God darn it, why did we have to tweeze to oblivion? When I was in Sephora, um, I'm gonna put her name down below because I don't wanna, Kristen Stryker, I went to see her. She's like the fa a famous brow girl. Like she made like the bushy glossier brow famous and she was using Hourglass brow products, which I don't actually have. I wish I did, but all these products work just as, um, just as fine. And she was showing me like, she was like, go with your natural brow, like let them grow out. Go through the process of a year of letting your brows go out and then actually go like against the grain, and then go with the shape, the natural shape of your brow, just exaggerate it. Okay, so I'm just like pushing it, and push it, flipping it, going against the grain, making them look extra thick, and yeah, you guys, oh my God. I think my brows are looking pretty fab. This is my everyday brow, I really, really love it. My hot flash fan is still on. I'm gonna turn it off. And you guys, I have um, two more videos on this new Back to Basics series. One on concealer, how to over 50. And also, I just did one, why am I, oh, liquid lipstick, how to liquid lipstick 101. I'll put them in the links 
above within the video and below in the bottom bar so you guys can check them out. I hope you guys love this. Hey, you guys, please follow me on Instagram. I have so much content on Instagram that I do not have here. And also since I got to 10,000 woo, woo, here on YouTube, now I get to put stories up. So if you click my face, if there's a red line around it. It means I have stories. You can click it and I'm going to be uploading stories, short little one minute videos of what's going on in my life on the regular, on the daily here in San Francisco. People seem to really like that. So hope you guys uh, love this video. Those are my brows. What do you want to see 101 next? Tell me what you want to see 101 next. And yeah, so fun, you guys. I really, really was so excited. Um, that's why I think I got a hot flash during this video. All right, you guys. See ya. Look at those brows. What do you think, like for real? I think I did a good job. Just very natural, but fuller, and it really frames the face.